Hi guys, welcome to another tutorial on my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a vertical split screen video with Filmora 11. Okay, so you know that we have built in split screen template inside Filmora. By the way, this is a new tutorial showing you how to create a vertical split screen video. Maybe you can use it for short or Instagram reel or Facebook or anything like that. Okay, so let's take a look at the example. Uh, something will look like this. Very nice, right? And being mentioned that if you want to try Filmora 11, I will put the link in the description for you to download it. And if you want to purchase a lifetime license, don't forget to use my 20% discount coupon code, which is in the description also. Okay, so let's go to my computer screen. All right, so now I'm inside Filmora 11, and this is my example timeline. By the way, I'm going to delete it. Okay, so everything. So the first thing, if you want to create a vertical split screen like this example, you need to change your project setting to a vertical video. Okay, to do that, it is very simple. Right inside Filmora 11, you need to go to File and then select Project Setting. And now you need to select the aspect ratio 9 by 16 for a vertical video. Okay, so I already select 9 by 16 right here. And for the resolution, you can select 1080p or 4K, it's up to you. And the frame rate, I'm going to select 24 frames per second. And let's click OK. The first and the easiest solution to create a vertical split screen in Filmora 11 is to use the split screen templates right inside the software. So all you need to do is to click at the split screen tab right here. And here they offer 30 different templates for you to use. For example, if you want to create a side-by-side -side split screen video, you can select this one, split screen number 22. Just drag and drop it onto a timeline, and now you will have a five second split screen. And you can also control the duration of the split screen by drag this edge to the right, or shorten it by drag it to the left. Okay, so I'm going to keep it at five seconds. And the next thing, you want to import your media into the split screen, right? So you have one and two, one and two area here. So this is the place where you can drag and drop your media, maybe video or image, it's up to you. Okay, and then we can go back to our media. So at the media tab, I go to sample video just to show you some sample video for this one, okay? For example, I can use this one for the first video, just drag and drop it to the first video here. And now this is a horizontal video, so we need to scale it up to fit with the screen. Okay, to do that, we all we need to do is to click at the video and then we can slide it to the right to scale it up. And this is the first one and we need another one so just use this one just right and drop it to the number two area okay and do the same just scale it up very nice right and this is just some example footage and we have a very good split screen video nice right and we can review it in vertical mode just right click here at the review window and select vertical screen so that we can review it on a bigger screen, something like this. Nice, right? And let's restore it to normal by right click and select vertical screen. Okay, so this is how to create a vertical split screen video in Filmora 11 with the built-in template. But what if you want to create maybe six, six video on the screen at the same time? So now you need to customize it a little bit. Uh, let me show you how to do that. Okay, so I'm going to delete this one. And first thing, we want to create a frame for our video. So in order to do that, I will go to my media. And now I will select a sample color folder. And now you can select any color here. So the color will be the border of the video. For example, we can select white, just drag and drop it onto the timeline. And now we need to make it as a line, vertical line and horizontal line. Okay, just click it on the preview window and then I'm going to resize it to a line like this. And the next thing, we want to move it here, for example, because I want to create six video on this split screen. And the next thing, we want to copy this line. Just right click here and then copy. And you can lock this track and then you can paste it by pressing Ctrl V and now you can move it up 
uh, sorry click here and move it up to create a horizontal line and now we need one more line okay just copy it again and then we want to lock this strike and press ctrl v to paste it and move it to the beginning and now we have this one but we want to rotate it by 90 degree okay and now we can just extend it to the length that we want and also adjust the light a little bit okay so now we have a frame here very nice and now we want to take a screenshot of this frame so that we can bring our video to the the frame inside later okay so we can take a screenshot by this button snapshot but let's go back to our media first and then take a snapshot all right now we have a, this snapshot we can delete all the sample color on the timeline okay select all of them and now we can bring our snapshot onto a timeline but it has no animation effect so i'm going to add a transition effect so that it has some something beautiful okay just go to transition and then we can select any of this transition by the way i'm going to select this one blurry gross number three just double click to download the transition and then you want to drag and drop it at the beginning of the the snapshot and let's play it okay so i'm going to shorten the duration of the transition Maybe something like this and play. All right, and now we can bring our video to, to this area, this black area on the screen. Okay, and let's put the playhead at this position when the transition effect finish and now go back to our media. Maybe you can import your media, but I'm going to use just some stock media. Okay, so go to my stock media and then I'm going to use this video as the first one. Just drag and drop it right here on the timeline and now we can just click at the video and move it to the position that we want and the next thing you want to use the the image mask to mask out the right side of the video okay but before doing that i'm going to just scale it to this position and now i'm going to double click at the video and select mask right here and select single line okay so it will be on this side, but I, I want it on the left side. So I'm going to rotate it. That's 90 degree. Okay. <gasps> oh, no, 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 no. Uh, okay. <laughs> so funny. We need to rotate it exactly 90 degree. <laughs> uh, okay. So we can just move it here okay so we have the first video by the, by the way there's a an, another easier way is to put the rotation number right here but i just want to use my mouse okay so this is for the first video and let's try and drop another video so this one is on the right side okay so we are going to move it to this side and also scale it Scale it down and move it to here. And we need to add a, an image mask to this also. So just select the mask and then single line. And now we want to move this line all the way to here. Okay. And let's play it. So we have two video and let's do the same for the rest of four video. Okay, just do the same to try and drop another video. Okay, so it's done. <laughs> Let's play the video, okay, from the beginning. Okay, and for the animation of the video, I'm going to add some transition. So what I'm going to use is the dissolve transition at each video clip on the timeline. So we are going to select transition and then we need to select the dissolve transition. Just right and drop it to the video or the video here. Seek video here on the timeline. 
Oke. Okay. Mm-hmm. And also we need to shorten the duration of the transition. Maybe make it just about this one. And let's double click here about 20, 23 frame and apply it to all. Okay, and let me render the timeline and play it again. But let me extend the duration of the snapshot here to about 5 seconds. And I also split all the video here to make it 5 seconds. Okay, just select all of them. And then split. And now I'm going to delete all of them right here. And delete. And now I will render the timeline. Okay, and here's the final result. Uh, let's play it in vertical screen. Okay, and let's play it on the right side and play. All right, and we need to adjust something here because there is a black line right here. By the way, that is how to create a vertical split screen video with Vimura 11. I hope this tutorial is helpful for you. If you have any more questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.